first of all, let me say how honored I am to be here to tell our story, how Taco John's, which started right here in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Come on, crowd, this is your story. Okay, owns this idea, which has really become an American institution for anyone across the country, maybe even parts of the world, who love tacos, Taco Tuesday. So when I was first contacted by TEDx Cheyenne um, several months ago, and they said, hey, we'd like for you to be up on stage with our other speakers, I have to admit, I was a little surprised. You know, we all know TEDx as this really amazing organization uh, that gives very inspirational messages around education, creativity, technology, the latest medical innovations. And these messages are inspiring and they're shared with millions across the globe. So what could we, a regional fast food chain, have to offer? <laughs> well, actually when I started to think about it, uh, it actually makes perfect sense. TEDx, at its core, is all about great ideas. And Taco John's is a chain that was really just built on great ideas. Tacos in a rural western rodeo town. Great idea. <laughs> Restaurants built from manufactured homes. Great idea. Little circles of fried potatoes that are spiced and then put into a burrito. Oh my goodness, awesome idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then discounting tacos on Tuesday? Well, that's the idea we're all here to talk about. So where do ideas come from? Well, from Taco John's, and some of you probably know this location and know this picture well, it all started with a guy named John Turner. He had a great idea to open up a taco house back in 1968 and make tacos right here in Cheyenne. It was an instant hit, and others immediately took notice. Simple, right? Well, we all know that uh, take, building a business takes a lot of work, and it takes a lot of partners. And so uh, two more gentlemen, Harold Holmes and James Woodson, purchased his idea. Or they per rather, they purchased the franchise rights and the recipes, uh, and thus founded Taco John's. They named the restaurant after John Turner, who started the whole idea, thus Taco John's. So Harold Holmes and his wife, Nona, who's still around today in Cheyenne, were not restaurant operators. As many of you know, they were local entrepreneurs, and one of their businesses was a manufactured camp was manufacturing camper trailers, and they, um, I've been told it was under the names of Holmes on Wheels. <laughs> James Woodson was also a local entrepreneur who was a realtor and a local realtor right here in Cheyenne. And together, this mobile home or camper ma trailer manufacturer, a realtor, came together and they were able to convince many, many investors across the upper Midwest to invest in this idea of tacos in the western part of our country um, and to invest in real estate to open up restaurants that cost thousands of dollars um, and that they would bring a camper to them to serve those tacos out of. And so it's just this amazing story that we have around Taco John's, but that's not the end of our history. I'm sharing that story today as a part of our chain's DNA, but also to talk about ideas and how do you make great ideas stick. And the same things that helped our founders, who were great entrepreneurs, start Taco John's, and the same thing that same ideas and principles that makes an idea like Taco Tuesday stick are one and the same. The first principle is that we've talked a lot about what makes great ideas stick and who we are as a culture. And we've maybe used a lot of different terms to describe this DNA of both. But as I was thinking about what makes Taco Tuesday so popular and what makes our customers come back time and time again, we kept thinking it's so similar. And these values that we're learning at Taco John's are the values that we can share with all of you. The foundation of a great idea is that it's simple. 
Taco John's was founded in a very simple idea. Great food, that's it. And Taco Tuesday, it was at its core very simple. Sell more tacos on Tuesday. <laughs> so, when Dave Olson, who was a franchisee in Minnesota, first came up with this idea in the early 1980s, he wasn't in my shoes. He wasn't trying to come up with the next great marketing campaign for Taco John's. He was just simply trying to make his business more successful. At that time, tacos were selling for 59 cents, 69 cents, maybe 79 cents each. And Tuesday was the slowest day of the week. So he decided to sell more tacos on Tuesday, and he offered a value of two tacos for 99 cents with a T-W-O. He was really clever, and it was an instant hit. And we should talk about the fact, too, that this was a time when value wasn't necessarily part of an overall messaging strategy for national restaurant chains at that time. And so this idea was not only the fact that it was founded in value, but the message was so simple, and he saw great success immediately. So great ideas are meant to be shared, and our franchisees have always been at the core and really part of the vice that moves us forward. And so our second lesson is that we want great ideas to be shared. We want them to be built upon. Dave Olson had a successful restaurant. He had a good idea. And then he shared his idea with other franchisees in ta within Taco John's community. And two franchisees immediately jumped on the idea. And their names were Dick Hamilton, a franchisee in Rapid City, South Dakota, and Dick Murray, another franchisee who owned restaurants in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Those two came together and they came to Taco John's and said, hey, we need a national campaign around this. Uh, idea of Taco Tuesday. And what you have to remember is at that point, we were a series of individual restaurants. We weren't necess necessarily a brand. And so this idea of building upon success to take something and make it even greater is really another part of our DNA. The original national ta uh, campaign for Taco Tuesday highlights that fact. It's our chain history. We were built upon the ideas of great entrepreneurs, people who dreamed big and who thought about doing things differently. And so a national advertising campaign was definitely something different for our brand. Back in 1982, Taco John's had been around for 13 years or so. And, you know, people knew tacos. Selling tacos at a fast food restaurant or through a drive through wasn't necessarily a new idea. But surprisingly, some people thought it was still exotic and it was still unfamiliar. And so there was a lot of advertising going on in our restaurant chain, but it was all different. And you would go to one market, it would be one message, and you'd go to another one, it'd be totally different. And so Taco John's worked with uh, Dick Hamilton and Dick Murray, and we really said, okay, let's come up with a radio commercial to do this. And this was the very first radio commercial we developed as a brand. You know what today is? Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Every Tuesday, two hard shell tacos, just 99 cents at Taco John's. Taco Tuesday. Today. At Taco John's. So, can you imagine listening to that for 30 seconds? That was only 10 seconds. Over and over and over again. Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Come on, do it with me. <laughs> Okay, so over the years, this message was so critical to the success of Taco Tuesday because not only was it the first national message that we had as a brand, but it was also uh, used by our chain for over a decade. Think about that in this world of ever-changing messages and new, new commercials all the time, and you're just inundated from everywhere about where to buy or where to go. Uh, it's amazing that we had a commercial that was so effective that it lasted over a decade. And it's this message that not only helped build our cult-like fan base, but it also helped grow the brand nationally. And the idea of spread, and it helps this idea spread across the country. By 1989, this t idea of Taco Tuesday was an integral part of our advertising and marketing efforts. 
is also really core to our brand. So we trademarked the term. We hold the registration number 1572589, US trademark registration number, for the mark Taco Tuesday, for the phrase in the states that we have market presence. And as you all know, over the years, we have asserted our ownership of this trademark against national cola companies, barbecue uh, uh, providers, restaurant chains that are big and small, and even well-known pharmaceutical companies. In fact, some of you may have been to a recent movie where they have tiny little plastic characters that are superheroes. It rhymes with the Ego movie. <laughs> and so there's a ton of assertions made against Taco Tuesday, and we defend each and every one of them. And with the growth in digital media, its unauthorized use is even more prolific. If any of you Google Taco Tuesday or search for Taco Tuesday, uh, you'll see over 3 million hits on any day of the week. That number rises, of course, with every Tuesday. And if you use the hashtag Taco Tuesday uh, with a Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or any other social media or digital platform, you'll see this huge spike and you'll see tons of content put out there by other users. So obviously, when we talk about an idea being shareable, we really mean it. <laughs> So one of the most contentious debates that we've had around this trademark occurred back in 2010. A local Mexican restaurant was using this term in their, this phrase, Taco Tuesday, in um, their advertising in Oklahoma. And so we heard about it, we responded, we sent them a letter, and just like our very active fan base, they had a local very active fan base who spoke up online about it with their disgust and their distress that we would be attacking their local restaurant. In these conversations, Taco Tuesday was portrayed, or Taco John's was portrayed as a large out-of-state corporate entity who was beating up on the small local chain. Their customers really didn't know anything about us and they went on the attack. However, context is everything. Those same customers didn't know our history. They didn't know that Taco Tuesday was an important part of our story. Social media, local news, even trademark experts all weighed in on this issue, and they all had opinions about it. And while it was difficult for us to take those public relations hits, what we kept thinking in the back of our mind is that we were standing up for the legacy of Taco Tuesday, for the legacy of Taco John's, for the legacy of Harold Holmes, James Woodson, and everyone who's been a part of our brand for over 46 years. And the fact of the matter is this. I know that we've been, or we've been seen as a bully, some corporate giant who um, is protecting this brand, but really it's us protecting the, the little guy. Is that great ideas can come from the most unexpected places, and when they do, we should protect it. The registered trademark allows us to protect a part of our brand's DNA. Taco Tuesday was created by Dave Olson. It was made even bigger by two other franchisees, and its protection is our effort to guard their legacy, this idea that ideas and inspiration are worth saving. So when you think about this phrase, I want us to take just a minute about thinking about the name of this event, Wild Ideas in the Wild West. And I want us to think about the fact that these ideas come from everywhere, even right here in Cheyenne, Wyoming. These two words, Taco Tuesday, hold a place in really almost everyone's mind, whether you know Taco John's or not. And that is unbelievable. These words are not song lyrics from a famous pop star. They're not part of a famous quote from an inspirational speech. It's these words are really about selling tacos. But the power of these two words has been nothing short of amazing. These two words represent a novel idea that gave people across the world permission to eat tacos, really, on a day that would otherwise be forgotten. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> True? Yes, simple idea. So Taco Tuesday has fulfilled the simple need of a business owner. It was the startup also of a pop culture phenomenon that grew way beyond the borders of where it started in South Dakota, Minnesota, and right here in Wyoming. So ideas are created to solve problems. People share those great ideas and make them even greater. So thank you for the honor tonight of sharing this idea, sharing this story, and protecting the even the really awesome ones out there. <laughs>